this video i'm going to be helping you to differentiate between a deep conditioner a protein treatment and a hair mask so basically a moisture treatment a protein treatment and a hair mask i found peace in your violence can't tell me there's no point in hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is akune kamsi and i'm a content creator based in abuja and if you're not new here you're very much welcome back to the channel today's video is all about hair marks and hair treatment so in today's video i'm going to be helping you to differentiate between a deep conditioner a protein treatment and a hair mask so basically a moisture treatment a protein treatment and a hair mask so there are so many products in the market right now so many if you can't differentiate what your hair needs and the right products that your hair will be needing you're going to buy a lot of products you're just going into the market and buy so many things that at the end of the day you don't need them your hair will not benefit from using those products this video will be helping you to clear any confusion and also helping you to differentiate so that when you get into the shopping malls or when you go to buy this your product you will be able to know what products you should get for the concerns of your hair so if that's what you're looking for in this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe and let's get right into the video so deep conditioners these are products used to rehydrate your hair and moisturize your hair and they are thicker compared to your regular conditioner the main purpose of a deep conditioner is to add moisture to your hair so deep conditioner just bringing all the moisture hydration into your hair that is the key product of a deep conditioner so the purpose of moisture is basically to hydrate your hair to increase the softness of your hair for a smooth and silky cuticle, improve shine, enhance detangling abilities, increase elasticity and draw moisture into your hair strands. That is just the purpose of moisture in your hair. So this deep conditioner should be used twice in a month or once in a month. And when using this product, you should always ensure that you're using it with a steaming cap. This just enhance penetration of this moisture and the product in that deep conditioner into your hair strand so how do you know when to use a deep conditioner on your hair so these are the signs to watch out for to know that your hair need moisture the first thing is that your hair feels dry yes your hair tangles very easily your hair is rough to touch so when you touch your hair your hair feels rough your hair is also brittle so your hair easily snaps and breaks out with little or no manipulation so without just touching your hair your hair is already breaking your hair is cutting so these are signs that your hair needs moisture these are signs that you now say oh my hair needs a conditioner so when looking at a product how do you now know that this product is a conditioner this product is a moisture based product for my hair not a protein treatment so you see words like moisture infused intense conditioning intense moisture add shine and body preserve moisture preserve moisture loss hydrate and humidify you also see words like moisturizes and softens you also see words like add softness basically these are phrases that are written on the packages of these products that you are meant to be looking out for you see these phrases you know that you're dealing with a moisture based product so another way to know that this product you're using is a moisture based product is through the ingredient list you can't go into a shopping mall and you're buying a product and you're not checking what that product contains that means if you see the product you will know that this product is a moisture based product so the first ingredient obviously is water water is the ultimate hydrating product so you must see water sometimes you will see something like aqua so aqua is still water so then the next thing you should check out for is humectant humectant like glycerin aloe vera honey propane glycol these are humectants your moisture based product must contain humectant and what humectant do is that they drag in moisture from the atmosphere so your moisture based product must contain a humectant next thing you'll be looking out for is emollient so emollient the main aim of emollient is to add softness to your hair 
So example of emollients are your oils, your butters, like your shea butter, your coconut oil, your olive oil, your avocado oil, any hair oil in general. Make your hair soft and smooth. The next thing you should be looking out for are your fatty alcohol. And the last thing is you should also look out for Pantenol right these are the ingredients that shows that this product is a moisture based product so like i said there are different types of conditioners there are, there's deep conditioner there's living conditioner and there's a regular conditioner all these conditioners in general their main aim is to add moisture to your hair now there's just difference because living living conditioners are conditioners that you leave into your hair why deep conditioners are thicker in consistency and they are conditioner that you leave for a certain minute and then you rinse off. But regular conditioners are conditioners that are lighter in consistency and they are rinse out conditioners. So they are conditioners you don't leave in your hair. They are conditioners that you use after shampooing your hair, after washing your hair. And you may probably just leave them on for one to five minutes, at least five to ten minutes. Why deep conditioners? are left for a longer time and deep conditioners are the ones you can now even you need to use steaming cap to enhance penetration into your hair but regular conditioners are just conditioners you put on your hair and you're rinsing off almost immediately the main difference between a regular conditioner and your deep conditioner is that they don't penetrate they have penetrating properties but they don't have so much penetrating properties as a deep conditioner they do a like a surface penetration let me just let's put it like that the reason why they don't penetrate into your hair as your deep conditioner is because they have larger molecules and anything that can penetrate into your hair has to be small conditioners have larger molecules when compared to a deep conditioner which has little and smaller molecules that could easily penetrate into your hair so regular conditioners fix the hair so they repair the hair topically they don't repair the hair on a deep level your deep conditioners repair your hair on a deeper level so let's look at the Cantu shea butter argan oil leave-in repair cream from the packaging you can see it says deeply moisturizes to help protect hair from damage so this is giving a moisture based product so let's look at the ingredient list so from the ingredient list yes this is a moisture based product you can see your fatty alcohols you can see your humectant glycerin you can see your emollient shea butter olive oil so this is a moisture based product and this is a conditioner so let's look at the originals by african best cholesterol and tea tree from the packaging it says moisturizes and softens so this is giving a moisture based product a conditioner so let's look at the ingredients list so from the ingredient list you can see this is a moisture based product you can see your um, propane glycol your glycerin you can see your fatty alcohols you can you can also see your tea tree oil your cholesterol so this is a moisture based product so this is a conditioner the main and actual aim of a protein treatment is to bring protein into your hair now note your hair skin and nails are made up of protein known as keratin now when your hair lacks this protein you are to now use what is called protein treatment so Lack of protein in your hair will warrant you doing a protein treatment to bring protein into your hair. That's so the main aim of a protein treatment is to make your hair healthier and stronger. That is the key purpose of a protein treatment. Now let's look at the purpose of protein in your hair. The purpose of protein in your hair is it reduces breakage, it strengthens your hair, reveals the cuticle layer, it repairs damaged hair. So it fills the gap between your cuticle, thereby decreasing water loss and increasing moisture retention into your hair. So these are basically the purpose of protein in your hair. So protein treatments cannot be and should not be used monthly or weekly. Protein treatment is done every two months or every four months. And when you do a protein treatment, it is meant to replace your deep conditioner for that month. I don't know if you understand. So if this month now you're doing a protein treatment, that protein treatment should replace your deep conditioner for that month, right? You don't want to do both a deep conditioning treatment and a protein treatment together. Signs that indicate that your hair needs a protein treatment. These signs are your hair feels weak. It is stretchy. Your hair feels dry. Your hair is overly limp. Your hair won't hold coils or shape. Excessive breakage of your hair 
and your hair is mushy so these are the signs that indicate that oh my hair needs a protein treatment when you're in the supermarket and you take a product so how do you now know this product i'm holding is a protein treatment and not a conditioner or a deep conditioner you're going to see words or phrases on the package of this product and these words are renew inner strength repairing conditioner ideal for chemically treated hair fortifies the hair add strength repair damaged hair reduce the hair and restore weak damaged hair so when you see words like this you're most likely dealing with a protein treatment the key thing that will show that oh this product is a protein treatment you have to look at your ingredient list ingredient to look out for that shows that this product is a protein treatment is amino acid peptide oat protein vegetable protein rice protein silk protein keratin protein wheat protein kiwa collagen protein egg soya protein and final animal protein so once you see this in any product know that you are dealing with a protein treatment now most of these proteins come with a word called hydrolyze in front of them for example you can see something like hydrolyze keratin protein you can see something like hydrolyze oats protein hydrolyze animal protein and so on and so forth so the difference between a hydrolyzed keratin protein or hydrolyzed any protein and a normal protein is that the hydrolyzed protein is smaller and it's easy for it to penetrate into your hair strand compared to your regular protein so if you're going to buy a product i would advise you to watch out for the proteins that contain hydrolyzed there's hydrolyzed in front of them so hydrolyzed keratin protein it is more efficient than keratin protein do you understand so for you to get optimum treatments when doing your protein treatment up for ingredient list of proteins that has hydrolyzed in front of them so another thing i want you to also notice that when looking at ingredient list for you to know that this product is high in protein treatment is that if the first five products or even six products in the ingredient list is protein maybe hydrolyzed keratin protein know that this is a protein treatment and it is a high grade or higher protein treatment maybe in a deep conditioner the last ingredient you may see like hydrolyzed keratin protein and they will now come and tell you this is a protein treatment that's a big lie because the hydrolyzed keratin protein is down 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 so the most component of that product you're using is moisture is condition is moisturizing your hair so when trying to buy a protein treatment look for this ingredient list are stated look for them in the first two six ingredients list. so if possible if you see after water and you now see hydrolyzed keratin protein know that this is a high grade protein treatment but the things about high grade protein treatments that you need to be careful you don't do them every month and you don't do them as often if possible you can even some there's some high grade protein treatment you do once in six months just so that it doesn't ruin your hair so depending on the level of your this ingredient in the ingredient list of that product depending on what grade of protein treatment that product is in general so let's get into the next slide and i'll be showing you different popular products and i'll be telling you if this is a protein treatment a deep conditioner right so let's look at the afro g2 step protein treatment on the package you can see that it says stop hair breakage reduce hair structure and ideal for color treated relaxed and palmed hair from this you can see that this is a protein treatment so let's look at the ingredients of this protein treatment so from this you can see that it contains hydrolyzed collagen which is the second ingredient on this product so you can also see it contains hydrolyzed vegetable protein this is a protein treatment and a very very high strength protein treatment because you can see that the hydrolyzed collagen is the second ingredient in this product so it's a very high strength protein treatment 
so the next is mega growth deep conditioner from the packaging you can see it says anti-breakage strengthen restore and repair so from what we said in the video is that this is supposed to be a protein treatment that's reading from the package so let's look at the ingredient list so you can see a lot of proteins in this in this product you can see hydrolyzed wheat protein you can see hydrolyzed soya protein you can see hydrolyzed oats protein you can also see hydrolyzed vegetable protein so this is a protein treatment i can say from this ingredient list i can categorize this as a moderate strength protein treatment so should be shocking right it's very shocking because this is what it is this is a protein treatment not a deep conditioner so this is the ors hair mayonnaise from the package you can see it says conditioning treatment for damage and weak hair and from this this is giving me protein treatment so let's look at the ingredient list so this product contains hydrolyzed collagen and this hydrolyzed collagen is on like the fifth ingredient in this product so this is a high strength protein treatment it also contains hydrolyzed keratin and you can also see egg powder but mm, egg powder doesn't really show that it's a protein treatment but with the hydrolyzed keratin and the hydrolyzed collagen this is a protein treatment this is the organics by african best hair mayonnaise this is a very popular product right so from the package you can see that it says treatment for weak and damaged hair so mm, my mind will be going into protein treatment so let's look at the ingredient list to check if this is a protein treatment so from the ingredient list this is giving me deep conditioner because you can see glycerin you can see the um, emollients which is olive oil you can also see fatty alcohols which is acetyl alcohol and acetyl alcohol then going down you're now seeing egg egg is like a large molecule you can't even penetrate the hair you're seeing soluble collagen like what did i see before it has to be hydrolyzed collagen so this is showing that this is not a protein treatment this is a deep conditioner so this is the afroji keratin two minute reconstructor so from the package you can see that it says it adds strength and softens in one step so from the package is giving moisture and protein so let's look at the ingredient list so from the ingredient list you can see the mixture of moisture based um, ingredients and protein based ingredients so for protein you can see hydrolyzed vegetable protein you can see hydrolyzed keratin you can also see collagen amino acids right then for the moisture you can see glycerin you can see your fatty alcohols you can also see pentan pentanol so even though this product have a lot of moisture based ingredients this product is a moderate strength protein treatment so this is a protein treatment so this is the shear moisture living condition conditioner from the packaging you can see deep moisturizing so this is already giving me a moisture based product so let's look at the ingredient list so from the list you can see um your fatty alcohols you can see your emulants like your seed and um, sun seed oil your shea butter your humectants like your glycerin there's no protein in this product so this is a moisturizer this is a living conditioner so this is a moisture based product from the ingredient list so next up is the vitalis olive oil hair mayonnaise from the package of this product you can see it says repairs damaged hair rejuvenates fragile hair moisturizes and conditions so it's giving a mixture of both protein treatment and a and a moisture based product and a deep conditioner so let's look at the ingredient list so from the ingredient list you can see this is a protein treatment but a mild or moderate protein treatment because it contains more of a moisture based ingredients like glycerin oils your emollients you can also see your pantenol you can see um your um, fatty alcohols only protein treatments in this product is the hydrolyzed oats protein so because of this i'll say this is a more mild to moderate protein treatment so the next treatment we're talking about is hair marks now a lot of companies use this a lot you could see deep conditioning hair marks you could see protein treatment hair mask and this can be very very confusing now that's why i always say read the ingredient list of a product you are buying before you buy them and not only reading the ingredient list know the ingredients that say oh this product is moisture and know the ingredient that say oh this product is a protein treatment most companies just put a lot of things out there just to confuse you the consumers and you guys just go and buy anything 
thinking this is it and this is not it right so hair mark simply means to mark the issue going on in your hair they don't really give solution to that issue they just max you know when you say something is maxing you're just managing just trying to handle the condition sorry you're not giving a solution that is just what hair max does that is why i always say that hair max are optional hair max are optional you could just have them because you just want to have them or you could just use them because you just want to use them so even if you must use a hair max you can use them once a month and they can switch your deep conditioner because most hair marks are moisturized products most of them are moisturized products even the ones that claim that are protein treatment hair marks most times the ingredient list for the protein the ingredient list is way down 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 so at the end of the day is a moisture based product so always read your ingredient list very very important and secondly hair marks can replace your deep conditioner but should never replace your protein treatment if your hair needs a protein treatment go for a protein treatment and don't use a hair mask to max your hair when it needs a protein treatment if that makes sense you could also even do diy marks like your egg and mayonnaise hair marks all these things just make your hair soft and easy to handle right yeah so this is the Camellia Rose Deep Conditioning Mark. So let's look at the ingredient list. So from the ingredient list, this is a moisture-based product. You can see aloe vera juice. You can see shea butter, oils. You can see your acetyl alcohol. That's your fatty alcohol. You can even see panthenol. You can see honey. So this product is a moisturizing product. So this is a deep conditioner. If so this is argan oil hydrating hair mark so let's look at the ingredient list of this product so from the ingredient list you can see that this is a moisturizing based product you can see your fatty alcohols you can see your canal oil which is your emollient you can also see some keratin and amino acid but it's way down and like i said it has to be hydrolyzed keratin before you can can hold water a bit so this is just a moisturizing base product this is the share moisture coil and shine hair mask you. so let's look at the ingredient list of this product from the ingredient list this is giving mostly a moisture based product you can see your fatty alcohol you can see your emollient your share butter you can see panthenol you can see your coconut oil now going down the ingredient list you can see hydrolyzed soya protein with where this hydrolyzed soya protein is this is giving a moisture -based base products not a protein treatment so this is the melai rose mint strengthening hair mask you. so let's look at the ingredient list of this product so from the ingredient list this is giving a moisture based product you can see your aloe vera juice you can see your emollient your almond sweet oil your sweet almond oils you can see sun seed oil you can see olive oil you can see shea butter you can see panthenol you can see rosemary leaf oils and you can see honey so this is a moisture base products so you see so most hair marks are moisture based product so this comes to the conclusion of this video i hope this video help you understand the different type of hair treatment and this video brings clarity in knowing what product is a deep conditioner what product is a protein treatment when you want to go and get your products you are not going to be confused again knowing what your hair needs and what product you need to get so if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe please hit the notification bell to know when next i post my next video and if you have any question concerning this video please don't forget to leave it in the comment section i'll be there to answer your question you know that i'll be there in the comment section and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye <laughs> Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite Cause I needed more from you